Okay guys, so today what I'm going to be doing is sewing. I am so tired. Like, I've been like throwing a wig on and shit like that. The wig thing's just not for me. My first wig is cute and everything, but it's just, I don't know. I, just, I guess it's cool because you can just throw it on and take it off, you know what I'm saying, and everything, but I'm, I don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm going to do a, a, a sewing. Um, I want to show you guys the braid pattern because it's been braided for a little bit, so okay. Okay. Don't judge. Alright, so this is what I've done in the back. Um, I did, you know, straight down and then I did these two going side to side. Whenever I braid them like this, going down like this, it's much easier when it comes to takedown, but it's a snap. Uh, so, and then I only have the two lines at the bottom to, you know, really be careful with when it comes to taking it out. And then up here, kind of did the same thing as in the back. Uh, what I'm going to do is right here, this braid, this braid right here, I have a part, so it's going to be an invisible part type of situation going on. And hopefully this right here will help to be, will serve to be my closure piece. And then what I'm going to do is just take these braids, twist them up like that. And then I'm just going to sew it down. It's pretty short. It's like a 14 inch. And I was thinking about doing like a little bob or something. So that's why I did this. So just see. But I'll come back in just a moment once I'm all prepared and ready to show you guys the rest of the process. Okay? Hi guys! Okay, I'm supposed to be doing a how to sew in hair tutorial and I didn't do a hair tutorial at all. Like for real. <laughs> Sorry guys! Oh, don't even worry about that. Just let it go. And I guess I'll show you guys how I'm going to do my invisible part up here once I get to the top. Um, and just, I've been lollygagging, like straight up lollygagging. Like I was playing on my phone, I was like making music videos and stuff. Us girls, just cause we killed don't mean we can't be silly. Wooka 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 Hey yo, my name is Quay. Hey, and today I feel like being a little silly, so that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I said, oh, 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 oh. I said, well, oh, 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 oh. No matter that, I'm still trying to do my hair. I'm in the middle of doing my hair right now, so don't worry about that. Y'all just <laughs> smooth on by that, right? I was just I was a hot mess so don't worry about that what I will do though is just show you what I've done so far first portion of the video just basically shows my braid pattern and you guys you know these edges right here what I'm gonna do is just end up like smoothing those down you know stuff like that because um just I think because I've been wearing that damn wig that it's kind of been messing with my edges so that's why I'm like mm -mm, before they gone I'm gonna just go on and just stop that nip it in the bud right now can't be losing my edges so so basically I just sewn the back end and um, I'm just working my way up here now what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm just sewing this one kind of like under the break How are you? Okay, so yeah, I was supposed to be recording. Didn't happen. But I figured this was the most important part anyway, so I would come back and show you guys this. So, as you can see, um, I've just basically sewn all of this in um, and just no real, no real uh, changes there. I'm supposed to be doing up here like the invisible part method, but I'm too lazy to do the normal little you know little pieces cutting the little pieces and going across and I'm too lazy for that right now so I'm gonna show you guys another way to to accomplish this goal of having basically an invisible part before I get to the actual invisible por part portion I need to finish off of this one right here and all that I'm gonna do is take this piece and I'm going to flip it over okay I'm gonna flip this piece over like so 
and I'm going to sew it down. Hi. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've put the track here. Instead of flipping this one, I'm going to wait until the next one, which I'm basically going to take another track, put it right here, and flip that one. And I figured that'll give it just a little bit more fullness, and it'll also help close that gap for the, for the part and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and just sew this as I see fit. And this one is basically being sewn on top of the braid. So it's nothing special here, just on top of the braid. Every once in a while, I will take the string and loop it. So, for instance, here, I'll take it and loop it around the needle and then pull the needle through that loop to kind of tie it and make it kind of knot up there so that it doesn't uh, easily come out, the string doesn't easily come out. Yeah. Okay, so this is the, the track that is going to be flipped over. Now you can do this two ways. You can do this by either... This is what that's going to look like. Hey guys, okay, so I know I was supposed to record this, but listen, I couldn't. So, let me just show you what I've done. Um, I did this braid right here. Basically what I did was the same thing that I did to this braid over here. And this is what that looks like. And so now, let me see if I can show you over here what this looks like. Okay, so this is kind of like an open space. I'll probably end up coming and putting a piece of hair right there just to kind of fill it out a little bit um, but so what I'm gonna do is just kinda swoop this over this was the flipped over piece swoop that over clamp it off to the side and see I got some straggly hairs up there but I'll take care of that later with some scissors and um, some gel or some water or something like that um, so this next piece of hair that we're gonna work on is this braid right here and basically what's going to happen with that braid is we are just going to, I'm basically just going to take um, four pieces of hair. Um, two of the pieces are going to be on the sides of the braid. So right in here is where I'm going to sew them. And then the other two are going to be placed on top of the braid just like these two were done. Um, and that would give just a little bit of fullness and also it'll make sure to cover that braid. That braid's kind of large. So that's what I'm going to do over here on that tip. Hi! Okay, yeah. My hair's done. I know. And it's really like two days later. Y'all just don't know that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So look, I ended up doing this and this is how I did it. Now what I did was I just flipped the track. And I know you can see right here, I'm supposed to put another track here, but... So, what I will say right now from this point, from my perspective on this style, looking at it, let me show you. Pull this down a little bit. From my perspective, the style is a fail. I'm going to tell you why. Because I noticed with the hair, the pack of hair that I had, um, that the little straggly stragglies are like making it look like sticked up and stuff like that so I have to like put water on it and I have to do the whole process when I leave for the day. I might be able to see the little straggly hairs that stick up. That irritates me, okay? Um, and when I want it to lay flat, it's not really laying flat because of those hairs. What I think they did was when they did the track, I think they cut some hair off of the track 
Um, and then I don't know what they did with it, but you know, I feel like what they did was they took, let me show you. Hold on. This is a good one. Okay. See this? There's a lot of teeny tiny straggly hairs just sticking up. What I think they did is that they cut, they took the track and then maybe like took weaved in and out to get some hair like this and then cut it. And so now, whenever I try to flip the track, it's not laying down. So that's irritating. But again, I'm just using that flat iron. See that? See that struggly hair right there just sticking up? So what I'm doing is just using the flat iron trying to do some water because water usually works on this kind of this type of hair. So that's just a matter of the kind of hair that you get. Understand that it's not going to be like that all the time. This was just, it was like an order that I made of hair that was just, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't the Remy hair that I sell. It wasn't the Remy hair that I sell. But it was just, just some regular pack. But it's cute, and it doesn't feel like, you know, the human hair that you're going to go to the store and buy. It don't feel like that uh, that wool or up at the store. This is uh, this is Indian hair. So, I mean, it has a nice texture and everything. It's just the way that they cut it at the on the, tr on the wefts and everything like that. It's just... Anyway, what ended up happening was I flipped this one, I flipped this one, and let me show you. Let me get in here. Get in there with you. See how this is like basically a part right here? The only issue with over here on this side, which what I could do is take a track right here and just flip it over here so that I can wear it like this is a, a part right here. I could just wear it just like this. And I think I might end up doing that because I like the middle the middle section so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna tell I'm gonna let me just let me get all real close up and personal okay but let me just show you so this is how I did it basically what I did was I put parts here and the braids you guys saw all the braids how they were going back so what I did was I just took these tracks like this track right here is flipped so this track I just took it I placed it on top of the other track that was there and then I flipped it so now when I pull it down, it looks like that, and it looks like a part. Um, first of all, this hair, if I pull it down, you might only issue, and the fa reason why I call this style a fail is because of the straggly hairs and because it's puffy. If you see, like it sticks up, so and that's because of the freaking straggly hairs because they cut it so it won't lay flat. So that is so irritating. But every fail is one step closer to a great success and that's the end of this video guys i hope you guys enjoy it please rate comment subscribe let me know what you think come on back and see some more tutorials and click like girl be quiet